In January, Nova Nordisk invited innovative Danish students to stop by for a brainstorm. The reason we're in contact with students is that we, as always, we need the clever minds also to take this company to the next level. The students, who had proven themselves by winning a competition in November, came to present their ideas for how to reach people living on less than two and a half dollars a day, the bottom of the pyramid market. My basic interest is uh, how you, you actually develop a business towards uh, a, a market where you wouldn't uh, think there is a business. This is really interesting to Novo Nordisk because we get a chance to talk to students about a challenge, a new business challenge that we have. The students were challenged to come up with ideas for how to reach the poorest residents of India. This is a Bollywood soap episode. The storyline is where we are trying to get in uh, a story of a man or a woman getting ill and is almost dying because he's not treated. They have good ideas and also ideas that cross boundaries between sectors or disciplines. The students' different backgrounds from business schools and universities came into good use. Like for this particular one, I guess it's not even creating a market, it's just kind of getting the first footprint in the market. In order to be willing to spend money on the medicine, they have to know that they have the problem. Did we, while well, we talk about it, also talk about how we get them interested? The students are helping us with the very interesting well, ideas where they sort of challenge things we say. Who they could buy. be the key showstoppers? We always say, no one orders, in order to start insulin treatment, the doctor has to initiate it. And then they say, okay, but does it have to be a physical meeting? And then we're discussing, can it be done via video? The idea exchange gave Novo Nordisk fresh input, but it also gave the students a new look at Novo Nordisk. Uh, I had an impression that Novo Nordisk was quite conservative uh, as a company, and uh, today I actually got a little bit uh, the different impression. I think it was thumbs up. 